So hello my lovely people, my lovely family, how are you all doing? Ah, uh, you guys is here, yeah, feeling very cold guys, it's raining, it's been raining from, um, I think around 8. And that's the reason again we are cooking inside. So guys, yes, we are going to cook fish, as you can see, this is smoked fish. The problem is it's too hard. I would have actually first soaked it. That is another way we soaked it, by the way. Or rather, it takes long on fire to get ready. But for now, let's just do it the hard way. <laughs> There's no way right now because I want to start cooking already. So I'm going to cook smoked fish with some. Um, this is powdered peanuts. That's how it's packed when we are buying. <laughs> so I'm going to make some sauce with peanuts peanut powder and then the fish so it's going to make a very delicious combination guys and yes the sauce is always served with either bananas like um what some of you call them plantain there's a language in uganda it's called uh matoke in my language the bolo guys let me know first of all how you guys call bananas that is served with food like the other one you're seeing at the corner there but i'm not going to cook it now i'm going to serve this one with sweet potatoes so guys, let's start the cooking already. All I'm doing is just to wash this fish here. Actually, I have hot water here, so let me use that one to fasten my, my cooking. Then I'm going to add in some salt. So we are going to leave this one to boil and the fish will have to totally get ready before I can show you how it's mixed with the other one. So as we wait for the fish to get ready, let's be slicing the onions and the tomatoes as well. <laughs> so guys i i read somewhere that if, if like, like you know when you're slicing onions and this thing enters your eyes you know how it makes you tear it i read somewhere that you can wash your face with water like cold water and then it's it's like the antidote please let me know if it really works because oh i think i want to try it <laughs> Right, let me slice the pull on the tomatoes as well. So you can see the fish is actually boiling. But that is not yet ready, so I'm just going to leave it to boil more. Until it's red, until the color of the soup changes to almost whitish, that is the indication that it's ready. And then this here is garlic, so I'm also going to add in some. So guys, the fish is actually ready. You could want to see this. Like I told you, the soup changes, and that is the reason why the soup has turned to that. It's no longer watery like it was. So I'm going to cut it off and first leave it to cool. Let me just cover it a bit. That's almost drained. So I don't want the chocolate particles to fall onto our soup, and that's the reason I covered it, guys. Meanwhile, my chopper is also over. You can see I'm just buying them. So this is how they sell them in the small quantities. So let me leave the fire to get ready. Meanwhile, I mix the brown first. So guys, have you ever seen this first? I mean this powder before? 
this is granite by the way if, you, if you've been wondering and in case you have never please let me know in the comment section because i can also go ahead and show you how it's made in the next video please feel free if you really really want to know how this is made yes this is groundnut you could be wondering it's powdered and it makes a very tasty soup guys like the sauce is really really nice especially mixed with fish like this smoked fish you don't cook this with fresh fish by the be very keen with that so I'm just going to mix this in cold water so it can dissolve well so you be careful not to add in a lot of water here because remember there is some soup out of the fish and we're also going to use it together so you mix this with little water Right, there we go, you can see it is smooth. So let me put this aside and then we are going to fry. So let me put this here to dry before we add in the oil, guys. Our pan is dry. I'm going to add in just very little oil to get the onions ready. I'm actually measuring it to be very sure that it's lit. I'm only getting a cover of this thing. One. You know why? Because there is a lot of oil in Gina. So I'm only adding that little to fry my onions and also the tomatoes. I want it to feel fried, not like it's boiled food you get. So that's the reason for the drop of oil. So let me wait for this thing to get ready. But also as the oil gets ready, I'm going to clean up my hands because I'm going to remove bones out of the fish. It looks like it's cool already, like it's no longer hot. So here you make sure you're very keen because you don't want to leave any bone into this. So guys, I love this sauce very much. Let me tell you something. I love this root. Okay, there are people who cook it and they don't remove the bones. But there's a way I enjoy it so much when without bones, like I don't want to stress when I'm chewing this. You get what I'm saying? You just chew and you know there's nothing like you're going to sort again. You just chew and just swallow like that. Like. Ah! nice you guys please try it if you can that is if you have groundnuts in your area please if you do try this sauce already because you're surely going to love it it's very nice and of course very healthy remember it has raw um groundnuts which is very healthy the oil in it is really really healthy we all know that and of course smoked fish Whew, the combination is just super So guys, my tomatoes are ready. I'm going to add in the, this mixture here, the groundnuts that I mixed in cold water. So before I add in any water, let me first add in the soup that came from the fish. Because if you start from water, you may add in too much. So it's after adding this, then you can know whether it's thick or it needs more water or anything you get. Make sure the bones don't fall in. go so as you can see it's actually thick now I can go ahead and add in water so 
so guys you can have a look we are on our way as you can now the thing is this sauce does not need a lot of fire otherwise it will get burnt from down or rather it's going to get stuck beneath the saucepan under the saucepan so that fire is just good enough so let's check the sauce wow it's actually looking nice already yet it's not yet even ready you can have a look it's boiling pretty well of course this aroma I always tell you about this thing guys I love so I don't need a lot of fire here that is why I'm using minimal heat because it's going to get stuck under the saucepan or even gets burnt at worst and of course you know the smell is going to get terrible when it burns so let it be slowly but surely you get so let's wait for it to get ready remember I kept the fish so I'm going to add in the fish So going to cut in some paper to give it a nice aroma this is green paper so we are only going to leave it here for some little time before we can carry it off This guy, see how beautiful it looks. Remember, the fish was also ready before I added it here. Then, of course, the aroma from the green pepper. Woo! Very nice. <laughs> wait for this sauce to cool down before I can eat it guys just on point and right here is the sweet potatoes I told you I was serving it with sweet potatoes yeah it is first pack for these people just to put it around the fire like that just to maintain the temperature I don't want it to get too cold that's why I've put it around like that hmm. ah, you don't want to know <laughs> I don't know how to explain it I should have brought water first mm, I have this already Guys, you should try this meal. Oh my god, if I have a close look, you should try this meal. It is very, very tasty. There's only the fish inside, it makes it. Mm. Allow me to enjoy my meal, guys. I'm out.